about that with this. I'm going to have to do with this. Right? Okay. Let him let his eye Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakat, Manash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. And, um, you know, it's a day of atonement, you know, where in this day, you know, we got to afflict our souls, okay? You know, that you should be in that spirit of, you know, repentance, all right? And, um, Thinking about, you know, offering up that righteous sacrifice, okay? You see, because that's what's going to, you know, get us out of here. It talks about what, you know, by um, uh, with your faith and your works, okay? That's how you're going to, you know, uh, be saved. Was that Second Ezra 9 chapter, okay? You know, now I'll say this. We understand that Yahweh Shai was the ultimate sacrifice, all right? Okay, but we still have to, as the scriptures say in Romans, the 12 chapter, what? Present your bodies as a living sacrifice, okay? And hey, you got to put in works too, man. All right? You know? Hey, are, are you worthy to be one of the uh, one of the elect or not, man? <coughs> you see? All right? But, um... Do you have something to die? I don't know. Oh, I got the second address now. Nah. You, you can bring that up. The second address, 9 and verse um, 7. It says, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. Yeah, so that's how you're going to get saved, right? By your faith and your works. Okay? And look, those things go hand in hand. The book of James says, says what? Um, you know, I'm going to show you uh, my faith by my works. Okay? You see? And look, this is uh, one of our customs, one of our practices. Okay? You know, hey, this is Leviticus uh, 23. It uh, started 26. And the Lord Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Also on the tenth day... Of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It, it shall be a holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls. All right, basically meaning a, a fast. Okay? Hey, look, no food, no water, no sex, no working out. You know, if you can get off, you know, um, you know, uh, on this day, they take off. If you can't, hey, we understand. Hey, we're in slavery. Okay? You know, it is what it is. Hey, that's on Esau. Okay, he's gonna have to deal with that in the kingdom. Yep. You see, yeah. but yeah, we should really, you know, you know, for the most part, be focusing on spiritual uh, matters, man. Okay, and uh, it says here, and ye shall afflict your souls, and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And as the scriptures say, the book of uh, was it was really actually all, all throughout the uh, the Bible, but for some reason, the scripture that comes to mind is Sirach the thirty fifth chapter, where it talks about how you can't appear empty before the Lord. You have to have an offering, okay? So what is your sacrifice, okay? What is your sacrifice? Hey, do you have a, 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 a Cain offering or do you have an Abel offering, all right? You know what I'm saying? That's what you, you, you have to think about. And you see, the majority of our people, in particular the two-thirds, they have a Cain offering, all right? Something that, that, that's, you know, not righteous, it's not sincere, it's bogus, okay? Now what the Lord said. Mm -hmm. the you see? But see, the elect, they're going to have that able, you know, offering. You know? They, 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 they obey. Okay? They follow the orders. They did it in sincerity. Okay? I, I got one for you. Con, con. It's Proverbs 21. It's Proverbs 21 and 27. The sacrifices of the wicked is abomination. Mm. How much more when he bringeth it with a wicked mind? So yeah, man, you know, uh, like the brothers going into, man, our sacrifice, because it's, it's a lot that goes into a sacrifice, all right? It has to be the right sacrifice, you know, like Pops was saying, but also your intent has to be good, yep. right. you know? All right, and what's our sacrifice now? Can you grab it when it says the sacrifice is our contrite uh, spirit? Are you really sorrowful for your, listen, man, we're down here because we, we, we messed up, man. Yep. 
We, that's what we. That's what we're in here. We're in one big bullpen, you know, together, and we have to. And we're gonna be judged on how we act in that bullpen, man. All right. So, are we really repenting? Is that the reason why we're here? Do you really want your sins blotted out, or do you think you're good as is? Anybody who doesn't think, anybody that doesn't want to be conformed to the way, uh, uh, to the form of Yahweh Shai, ultimately, you're wicked. Anybody that doesn't want to be perfect, you're wicked because what you're saying is you're good as is. You have a Christian's mindset. You know, but you got that. Hey, this uh, is the, this the one you want. Uh, Psalms 51, 17. The sacrifices of the Most High are a broken spirit. You know. Can, uh, can you go up above though to like ten? Cause that whole fifty one is heavy. Really, that whole mm -hmm. that whole entire chapter, man. Can you start at uh, ten? Old crowd Bible for sure. Uh, I think it's like ten. Start at nine. It okay. says, "Hide thy face." It says, "Hide thy face." And this King David it said, "Hide thy face from my sins mm -hmm. and blot out all my iniquities." Yeah, we're in that same spirit. We want mm -hmm. the Lord to blot out our iniquities, cause we've messed up, man. I know you bring it out. You want it where you say, you know, I don't want. There's certain sins that I've done I don't want yeah. anybody to know about. Yeah. And we all ha have had sins like that, man. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You know? So hey, we want the Lord to forgive us. You yeah. know, it talks about that in the, in the book of Malachi. Uh, yeah. Oh, keep going on. Yeah, see yeah. Like yeah. Every last one of us fucked up. Mm -hmm. The only one who did it right was Yahweh Shot when he was out. When he was, uh, was Yahweh Shot. You know? Oh, um, right. I got some real quick. Can I get this oh, real fast? Okay. Came to mind. This is... Um, Micah chapter 7, verse 18. Who is a power like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever, but he delighteth in mercy. And this is talking about our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahshar. He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities. And thou will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. And that's what we're praying, hoping for, that the Lord um, does this, you know, uh, uh, you know, for us, man. First go around, because we know all Israel is going to get saved at the end of the day, uh, of the day, all right. But look, we don't want to be um, judged, you know, with these, you know, transgressors. I think that's how it's worded. If I'm not mistaken. I think in Cor uh, Corinthians, all right. We don't want to be judged with this world. I think that's how it's worded. It's a lot. Yeah, condemned with the yeah. world, the water. All right. Look, we're we're trying to, you know. Um, Get salvation that first go around. We want to be first round draft picks. All right. I got a scripture for you. This is Proverbs 24, and I'm starting at 12. If thou says, Behold, we knew it not, does not he that pondereth the heart consider it? And he that keepeth thy soul, does he not know it? And shall not he render to every man according to his works? But like you said, the works are, are what we're going, to, we're going to give us. But uh, uh, say, but he, he he gave us orders on what it is that we will be doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like you said, how how much more? As, as Malcolm used to say all the time out there when we'd be out there in the cold and whatnot, how much more is our chances are of being those men based off of what we see in the street, especially as we see it going down now, even more so. Can I back you up real quick, and then we can go back to that Psalms. This is uh, Ezekiel 33 and 15. If the wicked restore the pledge, give again that that he robbed, walk in the statutes of life without committing iniquity, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of his sins that he have committed shall be mentioned unto him. He have done that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live. All right, and that's why the scriptures talk about they that they did resort they that did not discern a reward for a blameless soul. All right, we want to have a blameless soul. We we don't want to have our sins uh, uh, um, uh, uh, repeated man, uh, uh, to us, man. And the whole, hey, the whole world's gonna know what the hell hell you did. And the scripture says your own sins are gonna uh, your be your, your accusers in that day. So we don't want none of that. We want that white stone. But yeah. you got to come. Uh, uh, this is all. Uh, Can I expound on that real quick, yeah. just for those who don't know? That white stone in the um, in the ancient, you know, uh, times, or right, in particular the Roman uh, times, that white stone meant that you were uh, exempt, exempt, all right, from that judgment. Yeah. Okay, you know, basically you, you became a free man. You know, 
And the black stone was pretty much you was dead. Yeah, you get next to You got it, uh, This Psalms uh, 51 and 9, it says, Hide my face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Mm -hmm. Create in me, create in me a clean heart, yep. O Most High, and renew a right spirit within me. And that's what we ask all the time. For the Lord to uh, cleanse us, man. All right? We want to have the same mind as Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Hey, you know, and I'll say this, it's hard in this flesh. You know? Hey, we're, we're subject to uh, vanity, <clears throat> subject to sin, you know? We're in the chains of darkness right now. And that's why we cry, sigh and cry daily for the Lord to give us, get us out of this captivity. In particular, hey, the, the flesh, man. I like to mention that this is really the, 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 the first captivity. Okay, the main captivity is the flesh. Right. Yeah, we're in, in Esau's cap, you know, you know, the, uh, under the captivity of Esau. Yep. But this right here, man, this has been going on for generations. This has been going on before E, man. Mm. Okay? That's why, we, that's, that's, why we need the new, yeah. that's why we need the new bodies and the laws within us, man. Uh, so yeah. we'll be perfect in the kingdom of heaven. But we got to be delivered from these chains of darkness. Yeah, it was, that's been going on ever since uh, Adam, and, um, Adam and Eve realized that they was naked, man. You know, ever since then, you know, it's been all downhill. You know, but uh, if I may, because uh, a lot of a lot of people I've been seeing personally uh been going back into the Christian churches, going to get dipped into the water. You know, uh, not even knowing what sin is. You know that the pastors, those pastors in the warehouses aren't even teaching their congregation what sin is, man. You know why? Because they're trying their best to hide their sins. Therefore, they're seeking salvation in the wrong places. They And then when they say things such as, oh, well, the Lord know I'm not perfect. He know my heart and things like that, like the brother was saying earlier. You know, it really goes all back into their wicked intent, man, to to, to further on wickedness, man. Yeah. All them damn churches set up by the government in any damn way yeah. to keep the truth from them. All right, uh, let me see, uh, it says, uh, verse 11, cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Yeah, and that's something that you should be, you know, praying daily, thinking about daily, because look, we've seen guys come and go, man, all right, one minute they, they were cool, yeah, you were best friends with them, so to speak, next minute, hey, they're, they're in this world, bro, they're coming against you, mm -hmm. all right, they you know, all of a sudden, now, now you're the worst thing, you know, ever created, you're worse than Eve. Yeah. According to them, right? They yeah. fucking make smoking stokies with sunglasses at night. Yeah, we're fake worried ass, about Madonna. Thick ass Corey Hart. Then on every you know live stream, or under different YouTube uh, uh, channels. Oh yeah, man. Just trying to debate you. Yeah, that's why I ignore that dude, man. I don't have time for this. I mean, I know other brothers gonna comment on his bullshit anyway. But as scripture says, the gates of hell should not prevail, man. So, hey, man, look, man, and the scriptures talk talking about no man shall prevent him that got the victory. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> hey, man, because, look, man, since a brother, you know, was on his brother's spirit, you know, to go into um, repentance because of the Day of Atonement. And I, I like to liken, hey, listen, man, you know, because, you know, brothers, we have the devil fuck with us all the time, man. Tell us that we ain't shit, you know, and, and you got to be kind of like Eminem, man. All right, yeah, I ain't shit, man. Find something else to say about me. All right, but guess what? That repentance, though. See, hey, Esau, you got Esau, Edom, two thirds of our people, the rest of the heathen. They all accusing us. You know, sometimes even your your own mind could try to convince you, man. But the scripture says, the Lord says, uh, if, if our mind uh, condemn us, the Lord is greater. Yahweh is greater than our mind. All right. So yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna have that th those thoughts, but there's always that repentance. See, the Lord is not a liar. We understand the Lord The Lord offered repentance to us. He offered return to us. See, repentance is like, I like to liken it on too, that um, that karate move that fucking, um, that goddamn Austin Power does, the fucking judo chop. <laughs> judo chop. Every nigga he hit with that judo chop, they all went down, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like everybody lost <laughs> to that judo chop, man. And that's that's repentance, man. See, yeah, everything you saying about us, you, yeah, we sinners, we did this, you did all that, but guess what? Who can lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect, man? Yeah, and then too, the elect is going to uh, at least try to the best of their ability. Yeah. They not like yeah. you idiots that just, 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 give, just give in. in. Yeah. Yeah. Just give in. That's yeah. the difference, idiot. Yeah. I got a scripture for you. This yeah. is Romans. Oh, this is Romans. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, this. Well, okay. This is Romans 7. I'm going to start at 23. Uh, but I see another law in my members warring against the law of my, of my mind and bring me into cap captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Right, that's why the scripture says, blessed is he whose conscience. Oh, is it? You got it? Can you keep bringing this out real quick? We just get back to that. This is uh, Sirach 14 and 2. Blessed is he. I'll start at 1, though. This is uh, Sirach 14 and 1. Blessed is the man that hath not slipped with his mouth. Yeah. And is not pricked with the multitude of sins. Blessed is he whose conscience had not condemned him. <clears throat> And who is not fallen from his hope in the Lord. Right, because if your conscience condemns you, see, you're only going to repent if you believe you can repent. If right. you got it in your mind that you done went so too far, far yep. and you can't come back to the Lord, if you got that in your mind that you can't return, you're not even going to try. Yep. You know? I, I think about DMX, man. DMX, I personally believe, you know, he did some fuck, probably did some fucked up shit in Hollywood, and by him you know, having some kind of integrity, it fucked with him, and he ended up on drugs. Why? Because his conscience condemned him, man. Mm -hmm. He didn't think he could repent. Yeah. You know, and if you don't think you could repent, you just gonna you just gonna go into the or, abyss. Or the Lord can't forgive you. Yeah. You done, you done done some shit, and the Lord just ain't gonna forgive you. Yeah. yeah. And it's that another. So, um, back to this. This is uh seven. This is Romans seven and twenty four. Uh, I hear this one. I'm, I'm just letting, I'm trying to let the, the thing swing back around, okay. But this is Romans 7 and 24. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank Yahweh through Yahweh Shamashiach, our Lord, so then with the mind I serve, I, might, I myself serve the law, of Yahweh, but with the but with the flesh, the law of sin. So this made us recognize. We the understand getting into these scriptures and understanding. We understand the sins that we commit now. So like the like the elder uh, Karab said. So we 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 shy away and we turn away from those sins of their nature. It says flee from sin. That's from the face that's of a serpent. Right. That's, right. that's from a face of a serpent, man. Right. And I'm thinking about that damn uh, that video. This Edomite might walk in. His dough was a damn snake right on his dough and bit him right on the top of the head, man. Right. A, 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 a poisonous snake too. I think it was a mamba, man. Right. That nigga was dead. You know that nigga. Now you know he dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know, hey, you you want to flee from a nobody want to hang with a snake, nigga. Uh, they hey. snake just next to you and shit, nigga. Yeah, and, 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 and see, with a whole snake head just sitting next to you. And then, and then you know, like I said, you know, Yahweh Shah labeled them Pharisees and Sadducees as being vipers and snakes, yep. and this, that, and the other. So you know, like I said, you know, but you, 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 you in return, knowing that, you know, no matter what it is that you do, like I said, the Lord has already got the elect already sealed. So all we can do is be doing the things that we supposed to be doing in the process of and not let our sins weigh us down in the process. Yeah, we don't want to be a professional fuck ups, man. Exactly. All right. You know, uh, you know, your brother Mathati out in um, Des Moines, he says it all the time, man. Basically, you don't want to be uh, uh, you don't want to slip over the same uh, uh, stumbling blocks, man. Right. All right. The same things that hinders you. You want to get over that, man. You, you don't want to get hit with the same jab, nigga. <laughs> right. All right? So, hey, man, when you, when coming into repentance, you also have to examine yourself to know what's bad for you and what's good for you in this walk, man. Mm -hmm. There's certain things you just got to stay the hell away from, man. Mm -hmm. Certain guys just can't do certain things, man. You know? And it's good to say, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. When you go into that word expedient, man, it goes into basically an impediment. There's certain things that bro one brother could do that'll totally mess you up, man. That'll knock you uh, right out the truth, man. Right. You know? But, you know, you got to you gotta uh, prove your own self to know what those... You got something? It says prove, uh, prove yourself. Know, know not your own self, man. 
So you got to know where you're weak at, man, in this truth, man. I got a scripture for you to back you up on that. This is uh, Sirach 34, I'm starting 25. He that washes himself after he touches of a dead body, if he touch it again, what availeth his washing? Mm -hmm. 26, so, so, so is it with a man that fasteth for his sins and goeth again and doeth the same? Who will hear his prayer? Or what doth his humbling profit him? You have spent eight months in rehab <laughs> and on your first day out, you went right back to the block. You got a 10, 10 gram rock. <laughs> about to get cracky. That's you it. You know what I'm saying? You went right back to the block. <laughs> hey, man, I ain't, seen you for, for, man. I ain't seen you for a minute, man. How you been? Right. I, I mean, I, I, I've been away six months. Right. Cleaned up. I'm good. Yeah. Damn, man. Looky, yeah, yeah. look. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Now you're even better, crackhead. That's it. You are. You go. You, you're gonna be able to absorb everything that I, I cook. I cooked this one up and made it be. You know. Hey, but uh, hey, in the uh, oh, what's the scripture that says in the day of um, in the day of sinning, aware of offense. Yeah, he will be aware of offense. Yep. You know, because we want to. We want to. Uh, we don't want to trip over the same things that have hindered us in the past, man. But you got it. Yeah. I got some fast. This is a Sirach 17 and um, 25. Return to the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Mm -hmm. That's what you got to do. Offend less to the best of your ability. Like the brothers were saying. You, you can't be going back to that uh, um, that bullshit that's going to make you stumble, man. All right. Hey, look, certain brothers, hey, you got to cut out the drinking. Certain brothers, you got to cut out women. All right, certain brothers, man, they, you, you, you got to fucking be more productive, man. You can't, you know, just be sitting at home all day. Hey, for me, it was my relatives. Yeah. It was one day, you know, I, I kept coming around my relatives, having a good old time, a good old niggery time. All right, and the Lord just had us get into a fight one day, man. Well, me, okay. them, and, me and another brother got into a fight with my relatives. Yeah. And who, who side do you think I took? I'm, no, shit, we men of the Lord, nigga. Fuck on, you know. But it was it was at that point the Lord said no more. Right. Don't come yeah. around these niggas no more. These motherfuckers ain't seen me in over seven years, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. you know, and, and and that's the way it should be. All right, because the Lord is separating the clean for. Hey, you brothers, it's in the truth. What he says, I shall take you a uh, two of a city, a one of a uh, uh, two of a family, something like that, man. You've been sanct you're being sanctified. You're being sanctified. Yep. Being the true form of, of made holy, man. Yeah. All right, and that's and that's a beautiful thing, man. Cause you don't want to be around that filth, man. Yeah, the same, same old shit, man. Talking the same old shit, doing the same old shit. Like I said, the last time I went to a a, a, a family gathering was for my oldest sister, her seventy fifth birthday. Blah 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 blah. Long story short, while I'm out there, my nephew, the the obnoxious little motherfucker that always. Pray over the Thanksgiving dinner. There's a grown ass Chicago cop talking about whatever order they give me, I'm doing it. Mm. I'm like, please let me put him to death. Mm. Yeah. Right. Well, you want to say something, Elder? <laughs> no, I said the same thing with me. You know, I had friends that hang out with all the time. But I came to truth. I haven't seen them in the 10 years. So, the Lord, keep you, the Lord, uh, pretty much. Eventually, they'll separate you from these niggas, man. But yeah, and it's supposed to. It's supposed to. Look, <laughs> like, and I, I, th I think I told uh, Natazaki and them this before and whatnot. But like I said, the first time I went around, what would be my so-called best friend in the world scenario? The first time being in this troop, and I went around him. I had grew my beard out some. It had the green and some, and this, that, and the other. And his first comment was. What you doing? Trying to do your Moses thing? Right. Yeah, yeah. I take that. I I can I can work with that. That sounds that sounds about right. I can appreciate that. You didn't insult, you didn't you didn't insult me with that one. That's a matter of fact. You absolutely didn't insult me with that. All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, but that's what it is, man. Abraham got taken away uh, out of his family, man. The Lord gave that order, man. You know. So hey. Uh, Hey, grab me that scripture that says uh, uh, a lodging place of wayfaring men. Let's hear this too. Go ahead. It showed extreme faith, man. Yeah. That Abraham 
up and left all that he knew, especially at that age too, you know? Yeah. Hey, but we all have done it, you know, in some way, form, or fashion. Hey, we just up and left, man. We're not, we're, we're not the same anymore. Yeah. And these people know it, man. Hey, whether it be they former friends, yeah. uh, uh, family members, uh, co-workers, they, they, they should know that, hey, you're different now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? They should see that. Yeah, they should. And they, no, you're right. They should see that. Oh, and, they, yeah. and they all waiting for you to fall, too. Yep. But you got that? Go okay. This Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 2, it says, Oh, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place of wayfaring men, that I might leave my people and go from them, for they be all adulterous and assembly of treacherous men. Ooh. You want to go about, you want to be around that? Adulterous and treacherous men? All right. Oh, give me that one that says, So is their house is full of deceit. You know, that's what this. Oh, oh, it's like giving that revelation says for without our dogs. This is what you're going to go back to, man. If you if you lead this, if you lead this circle, man, vomit. Yeah. shit. They got that movie. All dogs go to he- heaven, man. Now nah, these niggas is going to hell, man. In a handbag. <laughs> and, I, and I don't mean the spiritual. I don't mean the Christians hell. Yeah. I'm talking about they finna catch hell. You know, but you got that. You want the revelation of Jeremiah first. Uh, let me get the, uh, let me get the Jeremiah first, and then we'll get the revelation. This Jeremiah 5 and 26, it says, For among my people are found wicked men. Right. They lay wait as he that set up snares. They set a trap, they catch men. Right, the same kind of, yeah, your family member that, hey, your wallet of mother, your wallet to be missing, they'll be helping you find it with that shit in their back pocket, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. Okay. All right, man, that, that, that's, that's, that's your fucking relatives, man. I'm not even gonna say family, man. Niggers. Your 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 fucking uh, 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 physical counterpart well, well, relative, and yeah. it's fu- and it's funny you say that because that brings to mind an incident when we was right next door with Benji, and you know how y'all used to kick it, yeah. and I'd be sleep on the couch, right? I'd be sleep on that white couch yeah. and whatnot, and and, and and trust me, even though I even though I was asleep, we was being protected, yeah. okay, with the scenario, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But long story short. They got music going, they loud, they doing it. I mean, these are 20-something-year-old men. They they getting it in. And I'm sleep, I'm sleep dead in the middle of this. I, I'm ex-military. I've been on airplane, I've had an airplane going off around me and everything else. So I'm sleep dead in this shit. I'm hearing different voices coming in and out and this, that, and other. But in my sleep, I'm cool. I hear one motherfucking voice that I didn't recognize. Yeah. I, wo- I got up. I, I followed where I heard that voice was coming from upstairs. <laughs> yeah. When I got ready to come back in the kitchen, in the kitchen where that table was at, yeah. remember the Monopoly game? Yeah, yeah. There was an envelope on it. I looked at the envelope, picked it up, it was money. Put it in my pocket, went back to the couch, went back to sleep, put my hand on, and went back to sleep. Benji woke up in the morning. Anybody see the envelope? He came downstairs. Anybody see the envelope? I said, like, yeah. He's like, what? Okay, what happened? I said, man, in my sleep, I heard a voice I didn't recognize, so I grabbed it so I, I'd be sure that's going to be in the morning. So like you said, I, it was his relative, but but he didn't come into the truth. Mm-hmm. Right. right. Well, I don't know. Nigga, I don't know you. <laughs> I keep, you keep reading. And that Jeremiah was... Uh, that was it on the Jeremiah, right? You, okay. Yeah, you're going to the Revelation. This Revelation chapter right, oh, 22. Well, read it again. Read it again. Then we'll go back to the Jeremiah. This Jeremiah 5 and 26. It says, For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set up snares. They set a trap. They catch men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep reading. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Yeah. Wherefore they are become great and waxen rich. Right, yeah. So their houses are full of deceit, man. And that's and that's that's our relatives, man. They all trying to get over on each other. Mm-hmm. All right, they're a bunch of reservoir dogs. Look up that term. But go ahead. Mm-hmm. It says verse twenty nine. That's like, it. But go to the revelation. Then. This revelation twenty two and fourteen. It says, "Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, yeah. and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs yeah. and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters." And whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Whoremongers. Idolaters. That's what's outside of this truth, man. So one thing you can guarantee, one thing I can get I can guarantee 
when you leave this shoe and you think you're gonna go back into the world and you gonna you wanna get with these people again, well get ready to get fucked over. Get ready to have your female get seven, ran seven, through seven by million, your best friend. Million. Get ready to put some money up and then it, it, it ain't finna be there when you look for it. Get ready for all that, man. Mm-hmm. Get ready to have to look over your back. I have not had to look. The only thing I'm looking over my back for now is police, man. And really, I ain't looking that hard, you know. But at the end of the day, that's what you got to look forward to outside of this circle. Man. Going back out there, isn't it? That's it. You got something? This uh, quick one is First John 4 and uh, 2. It says, um, Hereby know ye the spirit of the Most High. Every spirit that confesses that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is coming of flesh is of the Most High. And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is coming of flesh is not of the Most High. And this is the spirit of the anti-Messiah, whereof ye have heard that it shall come, and even now already is in the world. Like that Revelation uh, 22 said, for without are dogs, sorcerers, whores, and whoremongers, roughly paraphrasing. That's everybody that's, that's not professing the names of Yahweh Bashem mm -hmm. You see? Everyone outside this truth, hey, hey, they don't know what love is. Mm -hmm. They don't know what true family is. Yeah. And they have no more, no uh, moral compass. Moral compass, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? and they can't be trusted, man. Mm -hmm. you know? They can't be trusted. That's why she just says, uh, "Use this world is not abusing it, man. Mm -hmm. Get what you can get, and get the fuck on, get the on be times." I was gonna say, uh, Elder Yashmal, but this was years ago, man. I don't remember. But he said basically, plug into the matrix only when you, you have, have to. to. Mm -hmm. That's it, man. Hey, you plug in and you plug out, man. Mm -hmm. All right, you get in, get out, and that's it. All right, but uh, I, I got this. Say, uh, let's say, around the indiscreet, assert, observe the time of being mm -hmm. con continuing yeah. around me to understand it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're fine. You can't be around these niggas anyway. Kind of, kind of. I got kinda. this, uh, Psalms 41 and 9. Yay, my own familiar friend, who whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, have lifted up his heel against me. And that's all you're going to find, man. All right, you go back into this world, you know, they, the people that are closest to you, they're, they're the ones who are going to, you know, do the most damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, those, those are the ones who are going to, you know, bring you down. And this is the real family right here. The scriptures talk about it in the book of, uh, what, Matthew? Yeah, All right, man. you know? And that scripture may, mainly makes me think of guys who were a part yeah, of this. Yeah. Matter of fact, can you read down on that? Yeah, I can keep going. You know, but then you got guys that are amongst the circle that are really ain't of us, man. Mm -hmm. All right? You got to be, and the scripture says, let, let everybody take heed of his neighbor, man. You know? That's why the scripture says, prove a friend, man. You got certain men that, are, look, man, that, that have been proven to each other, man. All right? Mm -hmm. A brother who's been in, two brothers that's been in 10 years together, man, I, they have a different kind of bond than a brother that's just been in here, too. All right, they've been through battles together. They've bumped heads. They've seen yeah. shit. They yeah. cried together. Yeah, mm -hmm. they seen each other dirty jaws, <laughs> and they still didn't uh, uh, breed contempt with each other. They still have that same level of respect. So you don't go making yourself equal with those men, but you got it. Yeah. Uh, what's it? My own familiar friend. It says. Cause I was thinking about the one. Um, that's it. You, that, that's good. Cause I was thinking about the one when it said, um, uh, "If it was an enemy, I could have borne it." Yeah, that's the one uh, with um, Psalms. Psalms. Yeah, that was right. Psalm. Cause I was thinking about that. Psalm so that's 55. like the sister scripture to that. Psalm uh, fifty-five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but the point is there, you know. But at the end of the day, you just want to stay out the damn Roach Motel, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, the scripture. Hey, did you read the one about? Uh, it said, "Yeah, what availeth this washing if he touched pit, mm -hmm. pitch, man?" All right, the scripture talk about the sow that has returned to her uh, wallowing in the mire, man. Mm -hmm. Here it is. You've been clean, you've been washed, and then you're just gonna go right back in the dirt, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I, got, I, got, I want let him bring this scripture. This is Matthew twelve and forty three. When an unclean spirit is gone out of a yeah. man, he walketh through dry places mm -hmm. seeking rest and findeth none. Yeah. Then he saith, I will return into my house from which I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, 
swept and garnished. Right, because of the, the demon wants to find an inviting place to live, man. Mm -hmm. You Your crib is supposed to be... Look, when them demons come to your crib, man, it's supposed to be like those uh, zombie movies when the shit, you all boarded up, and you got to make sure the boards stay on the on the doors so that they don't get in. I right, just keep keep boarding. Motherfucker arms trying to come through and shit, you just... Putting them boys, you, you that's how you gotta do, man. You gotta lock this motherfucker down because them zombies is trying to come in, man. Mm. You know, keep you keep reading. It says, then go of he and take of with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. That's right. And they enter in and dwell there, and the last estate of that man is worse than the first. And yeah. we've seen that personally. Super nigga. Super. We done seen that personally, time and time again. And, and this, that, and the other. So at, at the time that it was happening and we was fresh in, we were listening to, we were watching the apostles tell us how, how, uh, this, this ain't nothing new. Yeah. This is this is old. And now we've been here ourselves and we didn't had a chance to see it ourselves. And, and it's almost like a playbook, you know? Motherfucker fall out. Here comes some new doctrine. Here comes some this. Here comes some that. Blah, 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 blah. It lasts blah, blah. for a little bit of time. <laughs> That's it. Eventually yeah. fizzle out. That's it. Fizzle out and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Hey, get get used for so get used for uh, 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 fodder and whatnot, as, as you want to like to say, right. and whatnot, because we can go to your page now. Play the the week. Yeah, because we can go to your page now, the motherfuckers that were looking for you, you know, you get, you get even mild-mannered brothers like Bar Ra asking, where you at, man? You got people on your own page asking, what, what, what y'all doing? Y'all y'all ain't doing this no more? <laughs> this, that, and the other. Hey, Bob Rod, one of the most mild and mannered brothers that you want to see. But when he gets a chance to be able to mock you or whatnot, he wasn't even trying. He was just there. You made yourself an example, and he just used it. Okay, finish reading. It says, it says, in the last estate, like in the last state of that man is worse than the first, even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. Right, and the scriptures talk about, uh, uh, if you get that in Proverbs, it says how I despise my teachers. Oh, yeah, yep. And then that instructs me. Because really, you just forsaken, the scripture says you forsake your own mercies. Mm -hmm. Anybody know that one? Observe line vanity. Yeah, so observe line vanity. Because so the scripture says if you have, if you have uh, bitter envying, if you have bitter envying, um, lie not against the truth, man. Yeah, you know, as that other scripture says that you haven't forsaken me, you forsake yourself. Your own self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you do got, you do feel some kind of way. You do feel like a a, a bitch. Ass. Are you feeling like a bitch ass nigga? <laughs> this is commercial yeah, 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 yeah. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, yo, right? Did, you know, did, did you don't, wake up this morning feeling like you're on your rag? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that don't mean that don't mean that you lie against the truth, man. Because you're mad, and we've seen many men do that, man. You uh -huh. felt some kind of way, you was mad. So now the the doctrine ain't the doctrine. Yep. Missiles don't exist no more, even though you got them right on your hand. You got new. You got. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. You know what you know, Pascal, Pascal Boss said it years ago. He like, yeah, the guys fell out. He like, yeah, man, you know. You don't have to like up, but what they got to do with change the words of the Lord? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, 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 what is that? What that tells you in twenty two? If you take away or add to, yeah. you got you got some shit coming to you. All the plagues that's written in this book, and the ones that's not. Yeah. Nigga. Uh, and guess what? I'm gonna put extra cheese on your taco. <laughs> what he said? But wait, there's <laughs> more. <laughs> right, so you got that? Go ahead. This Proverbs five and verse, uh, verse. Uh, 11 it says and thou mourn at the last one thy first no read up read up kind of. this uh proverbs 5 and verse 7 it says hear me now therefore ye children and depart not from the words of my mouth remove thy way far from her and come not nigh the door of her house lest thou give thy honor unto others and thy years unto the cruel lest strangers be filled with thy wealth and thy labors be in the house of a stranger and thou mourn at the last when thy flesh and thy body are consumed and say, how have I hated instruction and my heart despised reproof and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, yeah. nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me. I was. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. It said I was almost in all evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly. 
All right, man. So yeah, your flesh is going to be consumed. You're going to be destroyed. Uh, you're going to be uh, you're going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. And you're going to think back like, damn, I should have just, I should have just listened, man. Stay I should have did there. what the hell I was told, man. Mm -hmm. All right, now look at me. I'm fucking destroyed. I'm fucked. I have no way back to y'all by me outside, and I'm through. I was gonna say, we, we, we see it, man. We've seen these guys who have fallen out, who didn't want to uh, obey orders. We seen where they're at, they humble man. Themselves. Bro, look at fucking element right now. Through. Fucking Rumpy, through, and it's scary as hell. Yeah. El Yashuan, but you, you know, and then, you know that's. Yeah. Yeah. He's from, you know, uh, Dallas. He was the head. Yeah, he, he was the former head of Dallas. And, you know, Elder Yashwamba, you know, that's his, you know, f former, you know, head. He's saying that's fucking scary, man. Yeah. Shit, even us, man, when we see, like, Nas Ryan, like, how fucked up he looks. Yeah. That's like, God damn, bro. Did, did you were, and he, precept, you know, yeah. a master man. Get this shit, get that brother, get that Line it up perfectly, bro. And then look at him now, man, just through. You got that one woman, because the scriptures talk about how, uh, how a, how a, how a righteous woman hated the wicked woman you know what i'm talking about a yeah, virtuous woman yeah, was a envious of whore yeah yeah mm -hmm. as a whore and envy, envious of virtue, virtuous woman mm -hmm. man so we're that we're, we're we're being that that virtuous woman man and what is the lord doing now he's decking us out he's beautifying us man and this bitch wanted to do what she wanted to do and what and where is she at now she's a damn cluck on the goddamn streets man mm -hmm. well you know like you said you use that analogy yeah. like you said man you know, get get getting a woman get get getting a woman together and, 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 and all these types of things, like you said, he decking us the the the, the gold the gold that, that he's putting on us is being refined. Yeah. Okay, it's getting becoming even more pure yeah. than what it is and the whole deal. Yeah. And now you got you, you like you said, the other motherfucker is like yo, yo, yeah. I don't want no part of you. Because the Lord ain't dealing with it. listen man. Let me, uh, let me read this real quick. This is Sirach 28 and 15. A backbody tongue have cast out virtuous women and deprived them of their labors. Okay? And the, one, and the Lord likens the nation unto a comely and delicate woman, man. So what kind of woman are you being, man? Are you being that whore or are you being that virtuous woman, man? Are you being that dog? Are you being that shameless woman, man? A shameless woman, the scriptures talk about how thou has a whore's forehead, man. Hey, thou man. refuse to be ashamed, man. All right? So, hey, man, that that particular woman, she ain't have no, she not invited to the, the Lord ain't marrying that. The Lord ain't joining on to that. That shit finna get destroyed, man. Matter of fact, the Lord talked you about know? it. Didn't he say you you y'all y'all got it messed up? Y'all y'all supposed to be y'all supposed to be getting some. Y'all up there paying people to to hold y'all ass out. Come on, <laughs> <You Yeah. know? laughs> yeah. So here it is, because I just read it. It said a back biting biting tongue have robbed women of their own labors. So you, see here it is, you was in this truth, you couldn't take correction, all right, you didn't want to get in order, you wanted to backbite, well guess what, All everything you ever did, did in this truth that was good got flushed down the toilet, it would not be remembered, man. Yeah, they get fulfilling prophecy in way, man, because scripture talk about Matthew 13, the parable, uh, some fell on the wayside and all that, you know, yeah. certain people had a lot to come to yeah. truth, some people gonna come and endure for a little bit, Get offended, fall out, whatever the case may be, man. You know, yeah. Shalom will stop you. This is going to come. Yeah, come. <laughs> yeah, come right like that. So, yeah, man, we got to be those. Uh, uh, the scriptures talk about that uh, virtuous woman, man. All right, how she would not do her husband bad all the days of her life, man. How she's willing, working willingly with her hands. All right, we got to be doing this willfully. Lord, the scriptures talk about a cheerful giver, man. All right, a cheerful giver. And, and look, the Lord is letting us back in the house now, man. We done did all type of shit. We done fucked off. It's time to repent, man. We can't have no... How the hell... You know, I've heard a lot of brothers say it, man. Your sins is a pride killer, man. What did David, King David said? He said, my sins... I acknowledge my iniquities and my sins are ever before me. God. If your sins is ever before you and you are acknowledging them, then you have no reason to be proud. You have no way to be proud, man. You gon' You going to... Hey, a, a good woman is going to, you going to let her back in the house. She fucked up, all right? She going to be quiet and do what she told, man. And that's where we at with it, man. You know, not giving all that backbiting and, and, and lip, man. You know, or thinking you know it all, man. 
Alright? Hey, hey, we, the minute Lord, we come with the mindset, hey, I confess to know nothing and save you. I was shy and him crucified, man. I, I'm here because I messed up and I'm here for repentance, man. You know? Just to tie it back in to the original point, man. You know, because this, cause this is the day of atonement. This is the day where we inflict our souls, all right? And we acknowledge our sins, man, all right? And we pray to the Lord for forgiveness, man, because that's really what it's all about, man, you know? But whatever y'all brothers got. It's the book of Pro um, Proverbs, chapter 26, uh, verse 10. It says, uh, the great power that formed all things both rewarded the fool and rewarded transgressors. As a dog returned to his vomit, so a fool returned to his folly. So, um, you know, just lying back off the brother, man, hey, for somebody to come into the know of what sin is, you know, because I talked about the people that go into the water, dip into that dirty ass water, believing that they're free from some type of whatever the heck they got in their mind. You know, for us to come into this truth, man, and uh, have a have a have a whiff of what power is, what what the truth is, man, of what uh. uh uh, life is. And we find out we're not living life here, man. You know, we, this, is our, <laughs> this is our captivity, you know. Ain't none of us tasted no real fruit. Ain't none of us had no, no real woman, you know. Because all of our women are not even our women right now. There's nothing, like your brother said, there's nothing to boast or be proud in here, in the, in, especially in these chains of darkness, man. So there's nothing to return to, you know. Yeah, the scripture talk about how he is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions. You had that one nigga now from San Fran. Question of the day. I don't know if you remember that day. <laughs> nigga always got an argument, man. Hey, because nothing's pure to these niggas, man. Yeah, you can explain this truth to them, A, B, C. They're going to corrupt it. There's nothing pure because, hey, man, they're defiled and they're unbelieving, man. And they're not repented, man. Because, hey, man, these niggas who, who, uh, who are basically perverting the doctrine, man, they think... Oh, these new covenant niggas. They think that they already. Yeah, that's why Sakari asked them, Oh, you believe you could die? <laughs> yeah, that was real. That was like, real. No, we can't die. That's a real cut. That was a real cut to his face. A nigga like, you think a nigga like that is looking for repentance? Mm. He think he got it already. Right. He think he got the immortal body with a fucking uh, Muppet baby ass lining, <laughs> weird ass fucking forehead. <laughs> Come on, man. Nah. That ain't that ain't the spiritual body, nigga. I don't want no lining like that. That's right, nigga. That's right. Uh, <laughs> that shit misdrawn. <laughs> but that, hey, but look, man. If you don't want to be perfect, if you don't want to be perfected, if you don't want to be like your Howard Shy, then you are wicked, man. Because then you think you already perfect, man, and you a doo doo, man. You trash, man. Scripture says our righteousness is as filthy rags, man. And I don't want none of the stuff I done did mention, man. Hey, what dude said in the matrix, he said, I don't remember nothing. He said, I don't yeah. want to remember nothing. Yeah, All right, man. <laughs> right. All right, he was a wicked nigga, but hey, look, man, I don't want none of none of my sins. I want my sins blotted out, man. So, 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 so the, so the, so the best thing we could do to do that is to be meek, humble, lowly, do what the fuck you told, man. All right? You get in your vagina to pray the Lord give you the strength to get up out your vagina, man. Right. No homo. But whatever you got, man. Yeah, more no. No. Hey, brother, have anything? I have a quick one. Uh, it's the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 15. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the most high that showed mercy. Right? It's ain't, it ain't nothing of what we did. It ain't no room for any pride, any room for any boast. You know what I'm saying? See, how I watch me all shot showing mercy and blotting out our sins like the other bro you wanted going into, like bro's going into. So what is it? Uh, I think it I said, the righteousness is of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> we didn't do anything, man. Yeah. It's all of you how I watch me all shot. We're, we're, we're hoping to, to, to get picked, man. And we've been called. We're praying <coughs> and hoping that, that, that we get picked. Because yeah. right now, we're still in tryouts, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we, we can get the cut at, at, at any point. Yeah. You know? And we, we will, we'll know that we made the team once we get out of this place, man. That's right. All right? So there's no room for, for, for pride. 
Why are Earth and Ashes proud? Yeah. Well, what the hell do you guys <coughs> do? Uh, 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 why, why the hell are you prideful? Mm. You know, uh, 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 all the things that you've done, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, in this life? They got the spirit of Esau. Yeah. Esau's the most proud. And they fought, these wicked people fought behind this damn devil. Yep. Right. Since you mentioned Esau like that, here, I'm going to read this one. Uh, this is uh, uh, Ezekiel 16 and 28. Behold, therefore I will gather all thy lovers with whom thou hast taken pleasure and all them that, that thou hast loved with all them that thou hast hated and I will even gather them around about against thee and will discover thy nakedness unto them that they may see all thy nakedness. Our, our people want to be hooked to this so much that like I said, on a holy day like today, they have no clue what's going on. They so busy on this. Yeah, look, to them, it's a Thursday night and all they can do is think about getting paid tomorrow and how much more shit they can get into. They couldn't get it in today because they got to go to work tomorrow, if that. But the ones that got Fridays off, oh, they in the, they in the mix right now. Hey, shit, IYC might be having sex right now. That's absolutely so, right. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, Lord, for my sins. Then just go clap some cheeks, man. All right? So you got that too, man. Yep. Hey, but we really got to be sorrowful, man. The scripture says, I shall gather them that are sorrowful to the solemn assembly. You're not going to come into this assembly unless you are sorrowful for what you did, man. The Lord said, I'll gather them that are soft, that are contrite to the solemn assembly, man. You got a lot of fake humble niggas, man. Niggas who really ain't sorry for what they did, man. Yeah. Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. They're going to be found out too. Yeah. Yep. As always, <laughs> spirits undefeated. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ecclesiastes seven and two. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to the, go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, right. and the living will lay it to his heart. Right. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better. Alright, hey, you 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 going through you know, uh, these trials and tribula tribulations actually makes you a better man. Mm -hmm. All right? And you, you being sorrowful, really repenting, makes you a better man. Yeah. Look, oh, you, you can't tell a proud man I anything, man. All right? You can't tell them shit. Mm. They got it. They got the answers, man. Exactly. They're good. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they already got the victory, basically. They in the kingdom. They, yeah. They ain't believing. They, they fucking here. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Like you said. To, 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 to be right, they'll believe anything, even if it's a lie. Mm -hmm. Especially if it's a lie. Because they had the truth at one point in time. Verse 4, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Yeah. And that's why we get on these other camps, man, because we're, we're trying to prepare you for a time that we're, we're not even prepared for. Right. You know, I mean, if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? You know, but hey, if you are the elect and you've been doing what you've been doing, you are prepared. You know, you you being prepared to be delivered. Right. All right? So, hey, man, this ain't the time hey, because, like, you know, like we're going into, those people who have that mindset, they think they're in the kingdom already. They think they're perfect. They think they do do don't stink. The Lord's coming to kill people like that. He said, uh, them that, uh, Lies amongst the tombs. They say that, that I am holier than thou. Mm -hmm. What's that Isaiah? Uh, yeah, they make the Lord a liar, saying they they not they not. Mm -hmm. Can one of y'all can one of y'all grab that real quick? Again? That's what I'm saying. You say you're a new covenant. Oh, you still got that song? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Psalm 51. Probably start wrapping it up. Yeah. Psalm 51 and 10 and it says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Yep. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. This is what you're supposed to be praying for all the time. You know, so it says, uh, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. 
and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood thirstiness, what blood guiltiness like me. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thy power of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Right. Oh, I'm going to touch on the point. Um, yeah, deliver me from blood guiltiness, man. You know, because, hey, man, two-thirds, they're going to be guilty. The boy said, uh, let the blood be upon us. Yeah, they, they got that. They back in the, they back in the experience that part. And our children, it says, uh, they're guilty of the blood from Abel, uh, all the way from Abel to Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, all the way to the last drop of righteous blood, man. You're going to be guilty of the blood. So what did Paul say? I'm free from the blood of all men. I have not shunned to declare unto you the whole council, man. All right, so we don't want to be guilty of that blood, man. No. Nah. Verse 16, it says, For thou desirest not sacrifice, else will I, I, I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. In burnt offerings. Yeah. The sacrifices of the most high are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O Lord, thou wilt not despise. Yeah, so hey, the Lord's not going to despise a broken heart, man. All right, you come into the Lord in, in sincerity, with faith unfeigned. All right? You're not feigning sorrowful, man, acting sad, man. Scripture's talk about there's a man that hangs his head down sadly, but his inwardly, his heart is full of deceit, man. All right? You know, I use that scripture to talk about Esau a lot, but then you got a lot of niggas. That spots in our feast, man, that are that are truly not repented, man. Oh, well, that shit. Hey, what what y'all should I say here yeah, before the devil? Yeah. Man, they they just black even my team. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's all that it boils down to. Because Esau ain't finna repent. Yeah. He can't. <laughs> yeah, the two thirds same way. They can't get right right now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean they'll be right in the kingdom when they come back through whoever left is. Hopefully we are part of it, man. Yeah, yeah. Right. We are the beginning? Yeah. Pretty much. That's pretty much it. But hey, you know, you know, hopefully this was another edifying one. And with that, we're going to end this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, Shai, Rakadash. Also, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all your brothers out there. Shalom and a Baba Ball. Baba Ball.